What's up guys, Justin Casey here from Elysium Risk Management. Uh, I've just noticed I haven't put up a video in quite a while, so I thought I'd throw this one up after testing out a little uh, kind of project today. I just thought I'd share some information about it uh, as quick as possible. And especially now, because I have a new a new computer, and it's so much easier to, to do the likes of these videos and to share some information and projects which is uh, because with my old setup, I'd have to record the audio, I'd have to record then screenshot software, and I'd have to then uh, edit edit the audio with the video together, and then include some background music and mix it all kind of in. But with this, it's literally as easy as pressing that, and then I just click record, and that's it. It, it, it gets everything that's on the screen it gets the mic gets the vocals mixes it all together for me and it's just it's so simple it's amazing so anyways moving on i can do this now just press play and just kind of get on with it and it has the music and everything in the background so let's check it out so today what we're going to have a look at is we're going to talk very i'm going to try to keep this short as possible we're going to have a look at covert cameras nanny cams and um, kind of cheap deployable portable uh cameras uh wireless cameras let's say uh, that you can access anywhere around the world uh there are a lot of them on the market okay there are covert cameras wireless cameras there are ip cameras and uh, nanny cams all of these kind of things out there but being a maker, creator, a bit of a DIY enthusiast, I like to learn new things, try new projects, and I encourage you to do the same. It's the best way to learn. Uh, so for this, what we're going to use is, we're going to, the main component would be what's known as a Raspberry Pi, okay? And this specifically for this project, uh, I recommend picking up the Raspberry Pi Zero W, uh, specifically because it's really small, compact, it's low powered, and, because it's the WW stands for wireless, which means then it can connect wirelessly to the internet. Okay, so as you can see, they're very cheap uh, $19. That works out what, 15 euros maybe? Uh, so just find, find the local supplier, and definitely, I promise you, if you get involved with Raspberry Pi's, it's going to open up a whole whole world for you. Okay. Uh, they're incredible, incredible piece of uh, piece of kit. It's basically a single board computer. You can make this into a full kind of desktop for your kid. Okay, very easily check it out. Some great projects, especially for parents and that kind of thing. A way of connecting with their kids, bonding with their kids. You can make them some pretty cool stuff on this. Okay, uh, so definitely check it out. So what we could do is we could just pick up one of these Raspberry Pi Zeros and then get this fancy camera module that is specifically designed to go with the Raspberry Pi Zero and all you do then is just plug it in and away you go but like I said we're makers creators uh, get creative okay and as well we want to try do it with maybe we have some old parts old laptops around the house anything like that we do it as cheap as possible okay and I'm sure where's the phone and just buying that and plugging it in right uh, so what we do is we would have a look at uh, an old laptop maybe okay maybe there's a broken screen on it or something something it's got thrown in the drawer hasn't been used since okay um and what you do is this kind of cover uh, this bezel on the lid you, you just clip that and that just clips off and in behind it you will find the camera board okay the web the webcam board uh, it's actually really small don't mind this image looks substantially big but it's not Okay, it's a, uh, it's very small and compact, um, and it's very easy to take off once you've clipped off that lid. You can literally just take it out, and there's usually some sort of um, some sort of wiring, and you just you just pull it out really easy, uh, and away with you. Um, as you can see here, now this one I have most of them I've come across. Uh, don't worry too much about these little kind of pins. Uh, what you can do is a lot of them if you flip them over and on the back you'll see some black tape or something and you just pull the tape off and you will see four uh, kind of solder points and they will have d minus d plus 5v and ground so your d minus and d plus is basically the data okay that's where the data is sent okay so your data minus and data plus and then your 5v is obviously your your positive wire okay your 5 volts your life and then your ground is your negative so what does that mean to you what are you going to do with this 
we get any kind of USB wire, okay? Uh, well, not any kind, because specifically with the Raspberry Pi Zero, they use USB-C, so we need to keep that in mind and make sure you have the right connection to plug into the board. Um, and then, from there, what we can do is, we open up the USB wire, and inside you're gonna find four different cables, okay? And on these four cables, we're going to have our black, which is our ground or our negative. We're going to have a red, which is our live or a five volts, okay, or positive. And then we're going to have a green and a white cable inside, okay. And on this, our white is going to be our data plus or D plus, as seen on the image here, okay, our D plus. And then our D minus is going to be the green wire. And you simply just solder it in. Okay, it's very easy. Don't be afraid of. Uh, oh, soldering and what is this stuff? Uh, I, I, I am by no means a professional solder or, or an expert anywhere close. I went to little. I picked up a cheap soldering unit for like 10 euros and I've been practicing on that and, and it's, it's pretty cool. You, you pick up new skills which is great. But that doesn't mean we're, we're totally ready, okay? So what we need to do next is um, the way the Raspberry Pi works is you, you take a SD card, you put your operating system or your software onto the SD card and then you plug it in and away you go. Um, but for this there's a specific piece of software that is specifically designed exactly for this need and it's known as Motion OS, OS for operating system. It's a Linux based distribution and it's for single board, single board computers and to turn them into video surveillance systems really really good it was written by and set up by a guy called Callum Christen I think I'm pronouncing that right I hope I am if not I apologize Callum uh, you can check it out on his github which is here just head on to github and motion iOS and you can download it uh, just go support the voices and scroll down you'll find that uh, you'll find Raspberry Pi's all the information as well about installation about configuration everything you need is all here uh, it's, a, it's a really good detail, there's 20 different nine pages there uh, for you if, if you get stuck or troubleshooting etc. And just to show you what it looks like, once you have that set up, because it's wireless, you can connect that to your internet and there you go. Uh, you, you put in the, the IP address that's associated to the device, you'll find that all out when you're installing it. And then you just type that in on a Google search or in, in your web browser, on your phone, on your laptop, on a computer, wherever you are, anywhere in the world, and you can now access that camera. Uh, and as well, because the Raspberry Pi is very low power, it's only 5 volts, uh, you can plug it into just a portable charger. And away with you, you, you can put this anywhere. Uh, so as a nanny cam, great, brilliant. Okay, perfect. You, you can just plug it in through, through USB if you want, if you didn't want to use batteries. And then you can hide it in, I've seen it in the likes of uh, electric air fresheners, clocks, anything, any kind of household object that someone wouldn't kind of second guess. Okay, uh, you, you can put them inside it, drill a small hole and there you go, you have your nanny cam cell. Okay, uh, your house is a bit more secure. And as well, you can also set this up for motion sensor alarms and everything. So if you are out and about and there's no one in the house and there's someone comes in, there's a bit of movement, it can see that the motion sensor alarm can activate and can send you a notification. Okay, all for what, 30 euros maybe? Okay, definitely get on board. Um, but another good application is for the likes of security. Okay, close protection teams, hotels, anything like that. Uh, as well surveillance okay any kind of covert surveillance because the units are very cheap they're portable they're wireless uh, yeah they're almost disposable they're that cheap okay so it's definitely something to, to look into uh, we won't go on too much more but i hope over the next while to uh, to have a look more and do a couple of videos on all the cool stuff you can do with raspberry Pi, single bar computers arduinos which are microcontrollers uh, they're a great thing, like I said, for parents and that kind of thing, to, to bond with their kids and to do something good. You can, you can do some incredible projects with them, okay? So check them out. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. If you did enjoy, or if you didn't, just click subscribe anyways. Okay, help me out. I'm on 82 subscribers, which is incredible. Okay, we're only four videos up. 
and it's very scarce. I need to be a bit more strict on getting them up. But I hope you enjoyed. Hit subscribe and I'll catch you on the flip side.